to my cave fortress against all the bad things in the universe. They say I have an overactive imagination, but I don't think so. I just see things grown up stone. I used to be scared of the super electrified pterodactyls that live in the quarry just outside town. But now, I know that's for kids. If anything, they're living in the woods just behind school. The biggest threat these days are blue, they have two heads, and they're not from this planet. I call them hoonies. The way I figure it though, as long as I'm in my safe place, they can't get me. Except... Hey, Willie! Willie! Dad! I didn't know you were... Bob, Jack Danridge. Yeah, my partner Rolly brought up some final points. Willie? It, 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 yeah, it, during the, the, the last pages. Yeah, Jack, we're going to have to get these down to the city registry by five. Yeah, I'll do it on the way to the office. There is no question about it. Big surprise, it. are you ready? What's going on? You have the paperwork. Close your eyes. No, no, no. Okay. Our new house, Willie. Our dream house. Willie, you're the one who said it. You're kidding, right? I got it. That moment, I knew my whole world had just fallen apart. This has gone on long enough, okay? We're moving today. But you're wrecking all my stuff. Unbelievable. Six weeks we've been dealing with this. You're way too old for this behavior. Way, way too old. But look my battle points, my morals, and this is my aim of the fire. Keeps me safe from danger. Okay. Willie. What's so terrible about moving? Tell me. You'll get mad. Try me. If we move into the new house, bad things will happen. Like, hoonies. For real. I remember what Dr. Chapman said. She said it's all hallucinations and my overactive imagination. When was the last time she had to fight off evil space monkeys? Never! Come on, little man, let's go through it. The only thing to fear is fear itself. And? What my imagination creates is within my control. All right, so, that being the case, these can go in here. And these can go. But those are the designs for my super space car. I haven't heard him build it this fall. And you'll get them back when we move into the new house. This house means a lot to us. We're finally, finally gonna have the life we always dreamed of. It's not my dream. Okay, well... Oh. What about him? He used to help you out a lot in the past. Goby? Mom, I played with him when I was practically a baby. You think some toy I played with when I was a baby is gonna help me now? Help me out here, Willie. I'm trying my best. Please? Yeah! Hey, these guys are almost done down here. I gotta pop by the office on the way over. I may have to go to Baltimore again tomorrow. Oh, yes, okay. Willie, look at me. You're going to move into a big, beautiful house, and you're going to go to a new school, and you're going to make new friends, all right? I don't know how to make friends. So it's a, it's a new chapter for all of us. We're all going to have to make some changes. All of us. All right? Trust me, it's going to be wonderful. Parents can say that things are going to be wonderful all they want, but they don't really know. I was leaving the only safe place I'd known my whole life. the feeling that there were bad things to come. We were never going to be the same.
Think we can fit a pool back here or what? Nice. I like it when we go to the Y. We have our own pool, we don't need the Y, do we? Right? And how about that? That old shed would make a pretty good fort, I'd say. Well, it's supposed to be in a tree. You're building yourself. And that's what you said. And we will. Will we? Buddy. Things change. Okay? The change is good. Look, when... Joey's dad and I started the business. I mean, that was a change, right? And now this guy wants to buy us up. That's a change. It's good. Ah, 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 ah. There's nothing strange there. Nothing at all. What's with you anyway? Hey there. He only barks with a change in the weather. Looks like a pretty nice day to me. Ah, ah, yeah, well, something's upset him. Williams. And how are you, young Master Dandridge? Mrs. Williams is going to look after you in the afternoons. Look after me? Yeah, your mom's going back to the law for full time for a while. Oh, but I'm sure Willie and I are going to become the best of friends, aren't we? Like I said, this house meant trouble. No way of knowing. Was that back in my old house? Something really weird was happening. He had to go to Baltimore from Boston, so we're not going to see him until Friday. Could, could you please hurry up? I have an 11 o'clock meeting, and the teacher was good enough to see us after first bell. Okay? I'll take care of that, ma'am. You tend to yourself. Oh. Okay. Thanks. First day of school. Not so easy. Hmm? Oh no. They always teased me. Teased. Teased and teased. Sometimes worse. Wait, I know I'll put two.
You and me are going to get along, aren't we? We can have it out right now, boy, if that's what you want. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I will not tolerate lying. Lying? How come whenever you ask me to tell the truth and I tell it, you always tell me I'm lying? I'm sorry, Mrs. Williams. You move. But I didn't do anything. Of course, a new house needs a new school. The new school is almost worse than who needs. Willie Dandridge, boys and girls. Now, Willie, you'll sit over there between Thomas and Kelsey. For the problem on the board. Over there? That's Colin Meyer, the most popular guy in school. If you don't know that guy, you're nobody. And you over there? Big Bruce. You really want to avoid Big Bruce. Okay, first the cookies, then my lunch. I knew exactly what was going on. Obviously, there are hoonies in my new house. It does this to catch the small fish which are its main food, or simply to invade its enemies. Blue's legs have so far back on his body that movement on land is slow and awkward. Rule number one when checking to see if your house really has evil, vicious, two-headed aliens in it, you have to be scientific and you have to have the right equipment. prepared for anything.
funny business. Like I said, no worry. I'm gonna count three, okay? One. Take a lot longer than that. <laughs> not, not hoonies? Hoonies! Uh, hoonies! I... What's our hoonies? I saw something back there! I owed his last week's parents this week. What's my imagination? Those crazy people next door. Sit to this! Save you, Willie. These new neighbors of yours are crazy. They think they see monsters in their backyard. But there are monsters in the backyard. You're right. What the thunder? What do you mean you come to save me? You yes, for help, Do you mean you're it? Practically a baby. So, who's better than an old friend to help out with the rope? It's Rocky. Where did it? trouble that comes along, such as... Maybe we better get you inside. Come on. Next time we do this, we need to get a bigger closet or a smaller me. You got one of those! The monsters that could eat us all and destroy the entire city. Oh, this is great. Can I have it? Please, 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 you were young, so I can't complain, but I always thought it sounded like great big gobs of snot. Buggers! Whoa! I love buggers! Gooby, uh, I don't think you should be. I very much think I should. Buggers are about the best thing in the world. Next, of course, to those window cookies. This. You and me in a hot air balloon. Going away from the volcano, it says everything's gonna be alright. It's a bastard. 
We need to hang it up somewhere. There we go. No, no. The guy was really mad about putting these up in there. In the closet? He sounds like fun. Uh, how's about? Right. There. It's brilliant. Uh, just for now. Wait! Oh. Don't move! Ow! Do some sort of all. What? Don't make a single sound. That's a bitch. So that would give us two weeks at the resort of the bay, and then we could drive up the coast. What? Honey, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it right now. Jack, I booked ten days off of work. Remember Rolly covered me on the Baltimore trip? Now, possibly the third week of next month. What the heck was that? Uh, uh I think it was me. <coughs> oh, <coughs> found the wrong pipe, buddy. You need some water? <coughs> okay. Okay. Are you going to be sick? He's just up in his room sleeping, all right? Not to worry. He's not going to school? So he really is? Yeah, he be. Found 200 boxes of cookies in the garbage this morning. He must have eaten like 50 cookies last night. Okay. It sounds obvious. You've got to be very careful in trying to hide a giant orange monster in your house. First, and most important, give him a place where no one ever goes. Ta-da! What do you think? Oh. Willie. It's great. Yeah? Oh, yes, it's fantastic. One hundred percent. What? What's that over there? Huh? What? Right. Well, when I met a cat, I'm not staying here. Why not? Yeah. One, it's dark. Two, there's no light. Three, it's dark. Yeah, but you have a flashlight here and my old lamp, so you can turn on a light. Say I. No, it's not about it. <laughs> the best part about it, we'll be close to each other. Well, yeah, but what about you making noise? I mean, my mom and dad's room is right over here. Well, I'll just move these boxes over. Then I won't have them all over there. Hey. That's your dad. That's exactly like you. And that's where you grew up. And that's his house. How do you know? Not really important now. I'm going to get my paper of markers. No, 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 no. Not a chance. I'll get your papers and markers. Oh. You stay here and clean up, okay? Uh. Yeah. 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 Rose, what is it? Broccoli. Here, try this. Uh. Here. Uh. 
Oh, God, Robert! <laughs> <laughs> Brussels sprouts. See? You're right. Everything great is gross. <laughs> Quick, pause me one of those hot dogs. <laughs> there. You know, I never did this before. What? Never eat a hot dog? No, I mean, mm. I'm making friends. I've always been kind of, I don't know, awkward. Awkward? Didn't you come right out even though you thought I was a hoodie? <laughs> Do you remember what you said? Hi! Brilliant! You think you're not good at making friends, that's all. Yeah? Yeah. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> Bat! <laughs> <laughs> When it seemed like life was going to be great, what walked in the door? Trouble. Boys and girls? Big time. Boys and girls, please. Thank you. As I'm sure you already know, Mrs. Donnelly had her baby girl on Monday, and you have a new teacher, Mr. Nerdlinger. Me? Now? Uh, yes, you, now. It is so, is it, it, uh... I am sure that, that, that you'll all give Mr. Nerdlinger the same courtesy and respect that you gave Mrs. Donnelly. So, they're all yours. Are we done? Uh, Off we go. Uh, Thank you. one of those moments when you realize right off the bat that your teacher is really weird? This was one of those moments. Mr. Nerdlinger, and I know what you're thinking. That name sounds awfully familiar. I'm sure we all recognize Flesherton Fish. <laughs> From the books of the same name, Flesherton and Fish goes to market. Flesherton and Fish beyond the sea. Flesherton and Fish and Ahab make friends. I wrote those books. Those are my books. Hands up, those who have read them. Hands up those who have heard of them. Well, not everyone can be famous. All right, let's proceed with our first lesson. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, Mrs. Andrews thinks she's got critters, and she's got critters. You, outside, this afternoon. Mr. James is going to be spraying through the house. But I have to change my clothes. Well, be quick about it. To do something, they're poking at the floor. They're tricking the entire house for bugs and rats. We gotta get you out of here. No kidding. I'm scared of bugs and rats. Ah! Hey, where are you gonna sleep? In my own room. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea anymore. No one ever comes in here. You have it all to yourself. Markers and drawing pads and marshmallow cookies. And here, electricity, so you can use this. And you can even have my TV. <sighs> what? What about the hoonies? I don't know. I mean, since you got here. We haven't really seen any, have we? Here. One for you, and one for me. No, I always wanted someone to talk to on these. Go. You gotta stay here. I gotta stay in my own room. Remember what I said about girls not understanding stuff? You think you can be strong about this? I want to be strong. Sure you do. I'm strong, so it means you can be strong. Right? I knew that if my parents weren't paying attention to me, they sure wouldn't be paying attention to the backyard. Gooby taken care of. And I had a pretty good idea I had the new school thing under control, too. Hey, Burberry! Oh. You gotta pay the toll. What? The toll. See, this is my hallway. You gotta pay to go through. I don't have any oh, money. That's too bad. After school tomorrow, then? And, uh, just to make sure you don't forget, let's have a drink on it, huh? I won't forget, dummy, don't you? Okay. Are you okay? Right, you ready? One, two, 
I don't know, you can go it, go, go, go. Ta da! My space cord! Yeah. Oh. I felt it with just four fingers at each paw. Wait, look. Work? You're the best space car drawer in the world! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, where's the shots? We don't need shots once we get a big comfy cushion. Huh? Me! <laughs> I'm going to be the cushion! <laughs> I am the cushion! <laughs> I mean, should we test this thing? Maybe we should go on a smaller hill. <laughs> We're going on a smaller hill. I figure if we pretend to be not so scared, then eventually we'll be brave. Pretty smart, huh? Yeah. Are you ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Didn't you? I put a whole can on it. A whole can? traffic in front of all sorts of people, including my teacher, who we knew was obsessed with being famous. This was gonna cause trouble. Maybe I'm not so sure about them being real anymore. 
Good night, Willie. Michael. It seems absurd that we have to teach young people about Lewis Carroll, as if he's such a great writer. Oh, sure, his book, his one book, became so, so famous. Alice in Wonderland. I've written three books and done my own illustrations. Lewis Carroll didn't do his own illustrations. The man couldn't draw a stick. It's just absurd. I'm sure we'd all like to hear what you have to say on the purported genius of Mr. Carroll. He was what? Fuzzy Orange Monster? <laughs> Children, this is not funny. We all know there is no such thing as a fuzzy orange monster. Monster, and, and anyone who saw one would be famous. Give me that paper. <laughs> the four of you boys will be staying after school for two whole weeks. thing is Fuzzy Orange Monster 60 times? And now, the two coolest guys in school, who I'm wanting to be my friends, hate my guts. I never had the attention in my life before. No such thing as Fuzzy Orange Monsters. Kumi, what made you think you'd come to my school? What, what made you think you'd come out? I was out of marshmallow cookies. Don't worry, I was careful. No one saw me. You mean... That I have a detention for the next two weeks because of your marshmallow cookies? Yeah, but, uh, well, well, eh? Let's get something straight. 
I was mad at Gooby, but I knew I'd get over it. The only problem was, Gooby didn't know that. And that's when he got his great idea. Anyway, so I figured I'd help myself. People know all this stuff exists in here. Kobe! People are going to see you. I'm trying to leave now. She can't tell me what to do. You're not hmm? the boss of me. I am too the boss of me. Oh, says who? Says who? Well, who took care of you since his second birthday? Who who named you Kobe because you couldn't say good bear? Who fed you pets every day? Who washed your orange juice the time you fell in the toilet? Who, who took you and... You thought I was a bear? The point is that... The point is I can do whatever I want. If I want to eat all the cereal in the world, I'm going to... You're not going to eat that. Says who who. You are. Because what you're eating is cat food. I'm not people. I'm a monster. Go there. Go, I'm a person. Oh, you mean you could go to jail if I was stealing? Hey, kid. What are you doing? Uh, I... Don't worry. I'll save you. They'll never take us alive. <laughs>
things about friendship is the stuff you can solve together. It's really cool, isn't it? I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. I still don't get it, really. What makes today any different from any other day? It's October 31st. Come on. Plus interest. What are you looking at? Oh. Good costume, mister. <laughs> My uncle's got much just like it. Can your uncle do this? <laughs> Willie, the hot dog peed. You... I gotta go. <laughs> Maybe there's people you just don't need to say hi to. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, hey, Bainbridge. Oh, are those the cool kids you got in detention with? Cooby, don't. Come on. I'm already here. No, maybe they just need a second chance to be friendly. Huh? What'd you do to Big Bruce? That was great. Is this your dad? <laughs> yeah. Dad? This is Colin. Hey, Mr. Bainbridge. Uh. So, uh, what are you going to see? Oh, we're going to go see the scary big adventure. <laughs> <laughs> big adventure? That's for babies. We're checking out Death Action 2000. Part 2. Really? Absolutely. See you around. Later, Mr. Rambridge. Oh, that other film looks really exciting. We wouldn't be able to get in anyway. Why not? Sorry, for this movie, you need to be accompanied by an adult. But my dad's parked in the car, and he said to get the tickets first. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, all right then. Scram, kid. I got better things to do with my time, and there's a lineup behind oh, you. Man. I'm in charge of these boys, my fine young ticket man. I think I can decide what kind of movies these boys and my boy Willie here needs to see. And if they want to see a film full of gratuitous violence and gore, then I say, let her rip. Hey, Rich. Your dad is very cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> Soccer at school? Sure. It'd be great. See you around then. Did you hear that? What? 
you know, I really kind of like that. Like what? I like being your dad. he was home that day, well, that's when the trouble started. This was real trouble. See, Gooby had heard my dad on the phone talking about an emergency and just assumed he was talking about the emergency at school. How was he to know that my dad was reacting to something totally different and hadn't even heard the call from the school? Final result? Gooby wandering around a place where Gooby should not be.
What are you doing out here so late? I was... my bike. Well, don't just stand here. Put it away. And today's school. Just put it in the garage. Okay. My head. Yeah, we'll have to know what happened at school. Ow! Today. How do you know what happened at school? Well, I sort of overheard. Yeah, I thought your dad was. Yeah, my dad. Well, he cares. If I were hanging over a 50 story building, he'd still answer his cell phone. Trust me, you don't want to be hanging over a 50 story building. Calling up being the soccer ball. Colin? Yeah. I had to rush him to the nurse's office, so they made me stay with him until his mom got there. I skipped the whole afternoon. Oh. Now, you're going to tell me what you were doing to my dad's car, right? Marshmallow cookies or other comic books? That's not really important now. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, uh, the, this uh... looks like plaster. Uh... They were building this tall building, you, and, You didn't um, go with my dad to work, did you? Well, just this afternoon. Since this afternoon? Well, there was this thing in my walk, and I had to jump, and then I landed in this... Good. And then I cut my arm and... Oh, you're supposed to wait until I come out to the backyard. Well, you don't come out to the backyard anymore. You're always playing soccer and hanging out with your new friends. It's not true. Don't worry about Gooby. Just leave him in the shed day and night with his moldy old comics and his ratty old you're sleeping a liar. bag. And we don't even draw hoonies anymore. Hoonies? There's no such thing as hoonies. They're little kids. Well, there's no such thing as hoodies, then maybe I should go. Well, then maybe you should. Especially if all you're going to do is cause trouble. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Good. Good. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> Without a home tonight, and now I long for yesterday. The world's come crashing down, love, destruction all around. Often words I didn't mean to say. Oh. 
for her cookies. Cool. I'm thinking I said some things I didn't want to say. I'm... He was a different kid. There's no more alien people coming after him. And then the past couple of days, he's just changed. Well, honey, you know, he's young and uh, kids go through phases. He's not as young as you think, Jack. of discovery. What I had no way of knowing was that this was a journey that was going to change me forever.
Jack? What's going on? Where's Willie? Okay, don't panic. Let's see where they lead. Tracks headed somewhere near here. Look, I think we should go back. All right, we need to go on. I know why I came here, Willie. I'm supposed to show you this. Thank you. Police have assured me they will contact us the moment they know anything. That's not good enough. Police, we can't panic. Look, I, I, there's probably a perfectly rational explanation for what we found out there. I mean, he's got friends. So who does he know? Well, what does he do all day? a secret doorway. This is Jack Dandridge. Hang on a second. 1435. Sullivan, huh? Okay. What?
I gotta go. You stay here, all right? Why do you mind? I'm coming. Elise, you, you gotta... You gotta stay here, all right? They uh, want you here in case they call. I gotta go. I'll be back. Call the fire department before you called me. Sir, we didn't call anyone. We didn't even know the kid was in here until we saw your car screaming down Sullivan. Buddy, follow the policeman down. I'll be down in a minute. The one that called you. I used Willie's cell phone. I brought him here. I'm Gooby. The crane operator said that he's sleep. I hurt myself. It's okay now. But how? This is your secret room, isn't it? Where you came as a little boy. How can you know that? Most grown-ups forget things like that. Actually, most grown-ups forget all sorts of things. I never did. He was always hoping. 
busy. Working. Trying to make things better for us. A boy doesn't need things. A boy needs a dad. What have I done? And you will, honey. He's coming in. But before he does, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, someone. He's fine and you never called. What were you thinking? Do you have any idea what I've been going through here? Elise. We let him go, Jack. Do you realize that? We, our little boy, we let him go for, for... For this, for this house, for these things. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? We don't need all these things. We need to... Change. And I need to be the first one to change. And I will. There's something I need to talk to you about. Okay, look. I need you to promise me that you're gonna stay calm. Why, what happened? You said he was fine. He is fine. But you gotta promise me that you're gonna stay calm. Willie! Mom. There's somebody I want you to meet. Hi. Oh my God. Absolutely. Any time, Rolly. All right. Well, it's official, guys. Rolly's cousin is a full partner, and I am on sabbatical. I gotta warn you, though. It'll be tight for a little while. Dad, he was just to make sure to get pressure treated with him. You know what? He's absolutely right. Are you okay, honey? No, but we won't use paint ready on the porch, so this is perfect. Hey! Hey! What about this? Look! Isn't it great? Or oh, whatever the condom was in, they got hundreds of them! It's a swing! A swing! Yes, we're back and forth, hanging over a tree. And what have they got? They got monkey bars, you can climb up it. <laughs> Fantastic! Uh, you don't have to be kind of has trouble with the human scene thing. What's the mountains? Raleigh! <laughs> there you are, uh, you crazy nut. This is my partner, folks. Rolly Fowler. We're promoting our new architecture firm, Dandridge Fowler & Fowler. Rolly thought it'd be fun for the kids to dress up. Let's hand out some cards to the folks, Rolly. You got that right, Jack. Where are the cameras? The cameras! The cameras! The cameras! Take this! Please. Call. Excuse me. Excuse me. Move. Move. Move, Move please. I need a camera. Camera. Camera! Let me through. Let me through this picture. Excuse me, sir. Make me famous. Not now. Go away. Go away. Sure, 
you're all familiar with the Flesherton Fish series of books. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can just come in here like that. This is my room and my school. <sighs> You're strong. That means I'm strong too. Remember? You think you can be strong? strong. Guys, 
final and most important rule of having a big fuzzy orange monster? Realizing what you leave behind. What I mean is, Gooey may have gone on, but he left me with all sorts of stuff. Like, how to build a space car. The best way to go grocery shopping. And how to defeat the Hoonies. And how to be a friend. Oh, and he gave me something else as well. He gave me back my dad. And maybe because of that, I realized that when it comes to family, where we belong isn't a place. It's with each other. It's almost like I'm playing lost and found with you. I'm nobody when I'm not hanging around with you. When you're not with me, I've got a little problem. I tend to disappear. I'm so full of doubt, the sun is hiding out. 